Well, what's uh, what's happening with the guitar this well, week? Well, I was working on some uh, little bitty um, Alan Jackson mm -hmm. this week. Um, Marissa came over on Saturday and we practiced for about an hour, hour and a half or uh, um, somewhere over the rainbow. Okay. You know, ukulele. That's coming along. Um, uh, messing around with the hallelujah, um, not so much the finger picking, which, which I really should be doing. I've been okay. doing more of the boring and trying to sing along mm -hmm. with it um, and messing with that. Um, so what time is this in? Um, remember from the picking what version? 2-4? No. Not exactly. Um, when you, how did the picking pattern go when you're, when you're finger picking it? Do you remember? Okay, so how many notes was that? Six? Yeah. So it's six something. There's six beats oh. in the measure. Six, four? Well, it could be. What would, What does the bottom number of a time signature tell us? Do you remember? How many beats in a measure? Well, that's the top number. That's why we have oh. six in the top of this. And the bottom is telling us what kind of note we're counting. Oh, uh, okay. So those beats, if each of those is a beat, would you say that those notes are fairly fast or fairly slow? Fairly fast. Fast, okay. So that would be uh, probably not quarter notes, but eighth notes. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, so that the so we would feel this in six eight, or okay. in, and it's two groups of three. So the, and any six eight means that there are six eighth notes, or anything equivalent to six eighth notes in the measure. Okay. Okay. And so, like when we call, when we say something's in two four or four four or three four, um, what that means is that we're counting. The bottom number is telling us we're counting quarter notes. So okay. beats might be going this fast. They wouldn't be going this fast if they were quarter notes. Okay. Okay. If they're going that fast. We're going to think of them as eighth notes. Okay. Okay. And then the top number is just however many there are in a measure. So in, so the most common time, and it's even called common time, is four four, and that means four quarter notes in a measure. So, so when we do an arpeggio pattern like this. <laughs> It, it really, as, as long as we accent that high note, it, it, it's exactly the feel we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, to strum something that is fast threes presents a bit of a problem. Now, you were getting a pretty good feel for this. It was almost going too fast, though, because what you were doing for each group of three, if like that was two groups of three. It was kind of, you're kind of like you're doing it down, and then the up, the down was longer than the up. Okay. So you're kind of doing it down and pausing a bit. Something like that. Feel that? Uh -huh. Okay. And so that would be where the first the first beat that we're playing on a down is really worth two of the eighth notes. It'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. It's almost we've played songs before where we've put them in swing time, where we, and that's kind of what this is, except it's very slow for for swing. If I was playing a if I was playing a a normal four four strum, this would have no swing to it, but this does. doing is the the down and the up that are happening there are not equal the up is a little bit late remember some of that mm -hmm. from when we've talked yep. about swing sure do. okay so so um so the problem strumming in six eight ha cre pre presents is this is really thin there's not a lot of it's we're not feeling the beat really strong in that mm. because there's there's not much going on down here, yeah. right? And you could feel sometimes that it's like oh, I'm not sure whether I, where, you know what should I, should I do down here, right? So <laughs> yeah. it wasn't it wasn't. Um, uh, We've right talked about this before with this song. That's why we originally I decided to skip the strumming and do the finger picking because it was so boring. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the problem. It really is boring if you strum it. Now, it doesn't have to be. But what you have to do to strum in six eight time is do six downs rather than, you were basically doing two downs, you know, and each down was followed by an up. So you're just doing down, up, down, up, right? So you're going down and up once for each three beats. What we really want to try to do in our strumming in six eight is do six downs. Now all I'm doing there, and so you can hear, you can hear how that works mm -hmm. in the song. So what I'm doing there is hitting really, hitting like I was just playing a G chord, right? And hitting it really strong on one, and then two soft ones to right, and then a big one on four again. Yeah, and it was, look, was okay. try again. Yeah, feel that? And 
those other those downs on beats like two and three then mm -hmm. could even be smaller than that. Like I'm barely tapping the strings. Okay. You know that you. So we want to really have a big distinction between the ones and fours, which are strong, and the other four that are all all just percussive more than anything else. Try that. Yeah. One down for each of the six notes you would have hit mm -hmm. in the arpeggio. Okay. Right? 